how to find the value of x when fx maps onto itself. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to know on how to improve in your MX skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss out anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, given the function fx is equal to negative 2x plus 12, find a the value of x when fx maps onto itself and b the value of k such that f3 minus k is equal to 3k. So firstly, we write down the function given which is fx equals to negative 2x plus 12. So to solve a, let's go back at the question. Find the value of x when fx maps onto itself. It means that we have to write fx equals to x. Next, we substitute this function into fx. So negative 2x plus 12 equals 2x. Next, we rearrange it according to the like terms. So negative 2x minus x equals to negative 12. So negative 2x minus x is negative 3x equals to negative 12. So x is equals to negative 12 over negative 3. So x is equals to 4. To solve b, find the value of k such that f3 minus k equals to 3k. So f3 minus k equals to 3k. So let's look back at the function given. When this is x, here will be x. When this is y, here will be y. When this is 3 minus k, here will be 3 minus k. Okay? So I'm going to substitute 3 minus k into here. So negative 2, 3 minus k plus 12 equals to 3k. Okay, next we expand this bracket. So negative 6 plus 2k plus 12 equals to 3k. Next, we rearrange according to the like terms. So 2k minus 3k equals 6 minus 12. So negative k equals to negative 6. So k will be negative 6 divided by negative 1. Therefore, k is equals to 6. For question 2, Given the function fx is equal to 12x minus 33, find a the value of x when fx maps onto itself and b the value of t such that f2 minus t is equal to t minus 2. So firstly, we write down the function given which is fx equals 12x minus 33. So to solve a, let's look back at the question. Find the value of x when fx maps onto itself. It means that fx is equal to x. Next, we substitute fx function into here. So become 12x minus 33 equals to x. Next, we rearrange according to the like terms. So 12x minus x equals to 33. So 12x minus x is 11x equals to 33. So x is equals to 33 divided by 11. So therefore x is equals to 3. Okay, for b, find the value of t such that f2 minus t equals to t minus 2. So let's look back at the function given. When x is inside the bracket, here will be x. If it's y inside the bracket, here will be y. If it's 2 minus t inside the bracket, it means that here will be 2 minus t. So therefore, 12, 2 minus t, minus 33, equals to t minus 2. Okay, next, we expand this bracket. So it will be 24, minus 12t, minus 33, equals to t minus 2. Next, we rearrange it according to the like terms. 
So it become negative 12t minus t equals negative 2 minus 24 plus 33. Okay, so negative 12t minus t will be negative 13t equals to 7. Therefore, t is equals to negative 7 over 13. For question 3, given the function fx is equal to 5 plus 3x over 2, find a the value of x when fx maps onto itself and b the value of n such that fn plus 2 is equal to n plus 2. So firstly, we write down the function given which is fx equals 5 plus 3x over 2. Okay, for a, find the value of x when fx maps onto itself. It means you have to write fx equals 2x. Next, we substitute fx into here. So, become 5 plus 3x over 2 equals 2x. So, be 5 plus 3x equals 2. We bring over the 2, become multiply. So, 2x. Next, we rearrange according to the like terms. So 3x minus 2x equals to negative 5. So 3x minus 2x is x, so equals to negative 5. For b, find the value of n such that f n plus 2 equals to n plus 2. So let's look back at the function given. When it's x inside the bracket, here will be x. When it's y inside the bracket, here will be y. So when it's n plus 2 inside the bracket, here will be n plus 2. Okay? So 5 plus 3 n plus 2 over 2 equals n plus 2. Okay? So we expand this bracket. So we'll get 5 plus 3 n plus 6 and we bring over the 2 so we multiply by 2 okay so 2n plus 4 next we are rearranging according to the like terms so 3n minus 2n equals 4 minus 5 minus 6 so 3n minus 2n is n 4 minus 5 minus 6 is negative 7 so that's the answer well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Hey!